See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Okay, Matt, we're here at Brighton, which is a slightly unusual environment for, for England training. Um, what, what's, what's different to training here than up at Pennyhill Park where you normally are? Oh, I, think, um, I think it's just a change of scenery and stuff like that. It's a bit of a, bit of a different trip. Some are new to come and you know, have a look. The facilities up at the college are brilliant as well. So, it's, um, yeah, I think it's just to mix it up and keep things fresh. So, it's, um, yeah, it's good. And Eddie's just been talking about keeping Penny Hill special for Test Week, so that when you're there, you know that you're building up for a really big game. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, that's first I heard it, to be fair, but um, yeah, that makes sense. It's, you know, it's sort of, um, you know, it's very much sort of similar to like keeping the change rooms at, you know, at the club. You know, you're only going there on match days, that sort of stuff. So it's, um, yeah, it's good. Like I said, it's nice to come down here, but something a bit different, not been here before, and we'll have a wonder about later and see what there is here. Of course, it's been just over 10 days since you last played for Gloucester, the, uh, the game against Northampton. How have you kept yourself ticking over in the meantime? Oh, we had um, a couple of days off, so I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, and then um, just had some fitness stuff from, from England just to do some running sessions, a couple of weight sessions. So sort of ticked them off for the latter end of the week and then and then had Sunday, Monday, Sunday, Monday off and back into camp today. So it's, uh, it's that fine line between having a rest and trying to recuperate from the season but not getting too lazy and, 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 and coming back in bad shape. But, uh, yeah, I think it's got the balance pretty good. And talking about the season as a whole, uh, the, the final time that Gloucester supporters saw you was obviously picking up the Supporters Player of the Season award. How much of an honour was that? Yeah, that was yeah massive shock, a massive honour. Really, really, um, really honoured to to receive that you know some some class names on that on there and for a few of the boys probably deserved it ahead of me but um yeah like i said it's it's um it's always nice to to um to be rewarded with stuff like that so um yeah but we'll see how it goes next year and make sure we go uh, go well next year and and keep fighting for like sort of top six area. Now we saw you training up at Brighton College earlier on today. There's, there's a lot of new faces to the squad. Um, it must be slightly different because obviously when you were doing the Six Nations training, it was a fairly solid core, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, um, yeah. There's a few different, few new lads and stuff to get them um, get in the mix, which is which is great. You know, meeting new guys and meeting new faces, and yeah, it's always good to get to know boys better. You know, most of them from the circuit anyway. You know, we bump into each other most weeks and stuff. So it's um, yeah, it's good. Uh, we'll see, see how it goes. Training seems pretty good today. Everyone's gelled job really well we'll go for a couple of drinks tonight and, and as a group and and uh, get to know each other a bit better now you've probably already started doing your analysis of words looking ahead what's the prospect of coming up against Ross Moriarty yeah that would be good yeah I don't know whether you know whether I'll be involved or not but if you know if I get the opportunity to play it'll be good fun to play against Ross you know he has had an excellent season and fully deserved his young player of the year and uh, yeah it'll, it'll be interesting to see how we go it'll be good fun to play against him but uh, yeah, sure, you try and give me a little niggle, I'll try and give him a little bit of niggle as well, but um, no, nah, it'll be good fun. Good and fun. what's his chat like on the pitch? Oh, it's just, just as bad as it is off it, to be honest, yeah. <laughs>